Please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications on all so you can see all my future content. I do not own King of Star. Please support the official release. In the Himalayan mountains, approximately 5,000 meters in elevation, lies the village of a certain tribe. Here lived a boy who had grown big and strong. The boy's name was Hans. He was the village's leader and also the tribe's strongest warrior. There were plenty of goats, so I brought back enough for everyone. A few years later... Wow! You're so huge! Huh? Haru, I want you to come with me to Japan. You could become the greatest fighter the world has ever seen! The man told Haru everything about the Kangen matches, about his search for a competitor, about how he caught wind of the rumors of Haru and came all the way to Nepal. For so long now, I've been wanting to fight for real, if only just once. But if I were to leave this place... What are you thinking about, Haru? <laughs> just so you know, everyone from the village is rooting for you. You, you guys... You are not a vessel that will meet his end here. Elder! Haru... Go and see the world with your own eyes. Wasn't it your dream? To fight with all your strength? It's not like this is your last goodbye. Once you wake up from your dream, feel free to come back home anytime, Haru. Okay. <laughs> and so, the boy, Haru, was brought to Japan. Once he got there, he was adopted immediately and became a Japanese citizen. What? What is this? Is there a festival today? There are so many more people than in my village. These are buildings? They must be bigger than the Himalayas. Here you go, tuna belly. What kind of meat is this? Oh. <gasps> Delicious! I can actually eat food in this country without having to hunt for it? What? These pictures are moving? Wait, no, go right, you dumbass! Damn it! <laughs> Surprised, aren't you, rural boy? I'm going to remove your backbone and make you my puppet! Now, in the present, the environment that once catered to him became poisonous with time. The poison called luxury had, without a doubt, eaten away at heart. That's when Haru became Haruo. Competitors, make your entrance. An assassin from the gaming world. He's a security guard who never leaves his own house. And today, he stands in the ring. The question is, Will he be able to fully clear the tournament? Standing at a height of 7 foot 9 and weighing 694 pounds with a Kangen match record of 4 wins, 0 losses. The company's net worth is 301,246,000,000. Nintendo's very own Destroyer! Haruo Kono! He's... he's huge! Hey, I have some candy. Huh? Uh, not now. Maybe after the match. Oh, wow. He's incredibly large. Hey, Akoya. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Okay, good. Let's go now, Hiyama. The most powerful government authority stands on Gunryu Island, an iron fortress that lets no man pass. A calm, steady heart that nothing can destroy. From the strongest metropolitan police force, it's the man who commands the riot squad. Standing at a height of six foot two and weighing 251 pounds, with a Kangen match record of 39 wins, zero losses. The company's net worth is 191 billion, 115 million. What cost of life insurance is? Executioner! Seichu Akuya! It 
it's time for justice to be administered. That man, he looks strong. He may be in the opposite block, but we should still pay close attention to him. Oh my, you're so perceptive, Ray. <laughs> Did the Hitman Association see this too? How odd. I wonder why a police officer like him gives off such a similar scent. Destroyer versus Executioner! With such strong opponents, who will walk out of here the and, winner? And fight! Beginning analysis. <laughs> God damn, that fatty's got some real speed! So he's not your average pig, then. Was that a backflip? Holy crap, man! That means Kono can manipulate his large, well over 650 pound frame as easily as an acrobat? He rammed him like a fool! Kono has flown the Koya off! I want to game. I want to game. How can he move like that? How do Okono? He's more monstrous than rumored. Do you know who he is, Miss Akiyama? Yes. There was a battle royale held a while ago for the rights to release a game console. Each company sent in a competitor they had the utmost faith in. The result was Nintendo's Kono's landslide victory. <laughs> Good job, Haruo! Now finish him up quick! Hmm. Laughable. Whoa! He just redirected the guy! Was that a giant shield? I see. He uses the technique of subduing. Subduing government officials, police personnel, or anyone involved in a profession with similar duties learn this technique. It's an art specialized for restraining and gaining control over an opponent. It was created with things like Japanese Kenpo, Kendo, and Jojutsu as its base. It employs the use of weapons in addition to bare hands and is a comprehensive martial art. He's almost like a gladiator. It's not like he can negate the damage entirely. Is that man made of steel? Why won't you just go down already? <laughs> that seems similar to Mr. Lehito's razor edge move. What did you do? <laughs> That move he used. It's like Razor's Edge, but executed differently. He hooks you with the knuckle part. That's what does the cutting. You're one stubborn pig. It shouldn't cause enough damage to hemorrhage. Though, it is a good way to harass someone. Uh -huh. What's wrong, Tokita? I'm going to sleep. Huh? Don't you think you should watch the match? These guys aren't serious. Watching would be a waste of time. Huh? They're not serious? Sorry to keep you waiting, Rakuya. The analysis is complete. Okay. I'm going to finish this, Yama. are no longer going to reach me. For justice's sake, just drop dead. You guys have some pretty bad luck. You went and made our boss angry. That will be enough. Huh? Now, I will administer justice. <laughs> huh. 
Wow, that was close. They sent us to the cleanup guy just for stealing a car. Aren't these guys unbelievable? So, who, who are you? Use this. Kill me, and you can go free. Huh? <gasps> you hijacked the private car of the head of the Godo group. Then, in your escape, you committed a hit and run. Luckily, there were only minor injuries. However, that doesn't matter to me. It's no reason to let you maggots go on living. I don't get it! You're gonna kill me over that? If you want to kill someone, make it those Yakuza guys! Rest assured, they have already been executed. <laughs> You're insane! <laughs> Justice administered. Good work. Get in. I'll take you home. Hiyama, I told you not to come here. So? How long will you keep doing this? Did you take a break to think it all through? Laughable. Justice needs no rest. I will continue to fight. Until the day that evil's roots have been eradicated. Wanna be sent back to your country? Go back? Back there? Where there are no games, no manga, no computers? Go back to that village? No way! I'm not going out! Right into the wound? This guy. So the purpose of that skill was to cut through the skin so we could bore into the muscle? This guy has a really nasty personality. Oh, damn it! Why can't I hit him? It's working! I'm stronger than you are! In all the Himalayas! I'm the strongest! Akuya, we're going to finish this now. You got it. For those who would obstruct my justice, I have no sympathy. Justice administered. <laughs> hey, Haruo! What the hell are you doing? You useless buffoon! Get on your feet, Kodo! Haruo! Can you keep going? Kodo! Bring a stretcher out here! Right now! This match is off! Huh? <laughs> hmm. Wait, what the? <clears throat> He can't possibly be conscious. So what is this energy coming from him? He's returned. This match isn't over yet. Yes. You're absolutely right, Elder. The ultimate warrior of the Himalayas. Haru has returned. I can't lose. Warriors, don't lose. His battle instinct stood him up subconsciously. But this energy he's emitting, it's unnatural in his state. That was fast. Kono's intervals have changed? I'm actually feeling these. It's like his very nature has changed. What happened? It's hard, Akuta! Ah! Ah! Incredible! The speed increased again. Hado Okono, you will die for the sake of my justice. He was at his limit. 
The knees of Haruo, the super heavyweight, have been under an abnormally heavy burden day in and day out. On top of that, he's been taking Akoya's intense low strikes. His knee's stamina was past its limits. You will learn to death this time. That's it! Match over! The winner, Seishu Akoya! Justice never dies. Before you click on one of these other awesome video tasks, please pause the video. Consider buying some cool Baki merch at a discount rate using promo code SOSA to support this channel. Smash like, leave a comment, support the messed up YouTube background, and share this around there by that you know. And follow me on all my social media platforms like Facebook, Rumble, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, BitChute, Aussie. Links to that in the description and first comment. Let's go, Brandon!